This video will demonstrate how to create a e-check or ACH transaction using Care of Payments. Starting on the top right corner toolbar, click the plus icon to expand our Quick Add menu. Under Billing and Accounting, click Apply Direct Payment. Once in the Apply Payment modal, you'll see options for payer type. The default is client, but can be toggled over to non-client payer. Select the contact for which is providing payment. On the top center of your payment modal, you'll see options for the payment details. Enter your payment amount. You'll see that the operating account is defaulted to be the destination bank account. And your payment type will be carat payments. Your payment methods dropdown will include any pre saved payment methods combining credit card and bank account options. To add a payment method, use the Add Payment Method link provided below the drop down. Once in the New Payment Method window, toggle from Credit Card and Debit Cards to eCheck ACH. Provide the corresponding account details, including account owner, routing and account numbers, account type, including personal or business checking or savings, billing address, and email address. An email address will be used to remit an electronic receipt for the transaction. When all of the required fields have been met, click Save to enter those payment details. Once those payment details have been entered, be sure to select that account using the Payment Methods dropdown. Go ahead and assign where the payment that is to be processed should be allocated. On the bottom right corner of your modal, click Apply a New if you need to go from Payment to Payment. Apply and Print if you need documentation around the transaction. Or Apply and Close if this is your only payment and you've now completed entering payments. In addition to our Quick Add menu, you'll also see this option in our Accounting module. Click the Accounting icon on the Navigation pane to reach Invoices and Payments. On the green banner, you'll see a plus sign, which will expand out a menu, including Payment Options. Here, you'll see the option for applying a direct payment repeated. In this location, you'll also see options for creating new trust retainer payments. In addition to paying invoices with an ACH transaction, you'll also see that same opportunity when creating retainers. Here too, the payer type is going to default to primary client and can be switched over to other. Your from will be the indication of which contact is providing payment, the matter that this retainer should belong to. The to account could be your operating or trust account the amount for which the transaction should be processed for, and your payment methods will include CARIB payments for credit card and ACH. In your payment methods dropdown, you do want to be sure to select your bank account rather than a credit card for completing that e-check ACH transaction. Again, if you have the need to enter payment details because they do not already exist, you'll be provided with the Add Payment Method link. On the top right corner, you'll have a note field that is required from a bookkeeping standpoint. This will allow you to explain why you're giving this person a credit and what this retainer represents. On the lower right corner of your screen, you'll see options for creating the retainer, which will then process against that bank account, or create and print. Again, this will initiate the transaction being processed against that bank account, but will also provide a PDF receipt for documentation. This has been a demonstration of how to complete an e-check ACH transaction using CARA payments.